we need cameras, we need lights, we need production, we need extras, uh, visual effects, stunts, you know, locations, all that, right? It's a lot of stuff. Um, and as you're reading that script, you have to use your imagination. And I know you're all creative people, so just use your imagination, right? And when you're reading, uh, think as you're reading, start thinking ahead. Like, what, what are we gonna need? There's some stuff that are, it's not on the script, but you're gonna still need to figure out. So just use your imagination. We're gonna do a quick exercise in a while. And I think that's gonna help you out in understanding. And then why do you need two days? Why do you need to uh, choose that you're gonna shoot two days only? Because for example, if you need to rent lights or cameras, or you need to pay someone, you, you know that you're just gonna use those things for two days. So that's why you need to choose, uh, oh, we're gonna shoot in three days, two days, because that's gonna influence how much money you spend in the long run. Um, this is, it's a process that's gonna take a lot of time. If it's like a feature, which is like 90 pages, it can take a lot of time. If it's a short film, 12 pages, it can take a day or two. Um, but this is extremely important for the success of your film. If as a producer or as a, uh, whatever you, you want to do, if you don't know what you need beforehand, you're going to get to see. So that's, that's something. Um, let's see what I, how, other things we're going to learn. Um, also as a producer, sorry, also as a producer, when you're doing the breakdown, when you do the breakdown, you're going to know exactly what you need. You know what I mean? So, um, since the producer did that, he knows exactly, oh, we need this car. We only need one car. And if they're asking for another car as a producer, your role is to say, why do we need another car? In the script, it says it's just one car, you know, stuff like that. So, um, something that's going to dictate where your money goes to, this is like a tip. Uh, it depends on the genre and handle of the film. If it's a horror movie, then you know, part of the budget is going to go to makeup or like visual effects or stuff like that. If it's like a romantic comedy, Maybe all the money goes to a location. Maybe you want to shoot, I don't know, an Empire State Building or Eiffel Tower, you know, stuff like I don't know. So you're going to need money for that. Uh, so it depends. If it's like an action film, then maybe like stunts. Or if it's like a kids' movie, then maybe all your money is going to go into getting an animal that's super cute and cuddly. And that's going to be the, you know, stuff like that. Um, when dealing with stunts, um, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this one when we get to the script. Um, things you'll learn when, when you're doing your breakdown is how many actors do we need and for how many days. Um, this is going to help a lot for the budget because actors most of the time need to get paid. We'll talk about that later. Um, Yeah, I mean, uh, what else? Another thing you do is once you get all the scenes, let's say we have five scenes inside a house. So those five scenes are inside a house. You want to shoot those all in the same day or in back to back days. Um, because it, it could be cheaper. Um, it's just logical, just shoot them. You know. And then also you're gonna know how many days you need that location. So, so we need it for three days. So we gotta pay three days for location fees and all that stuff. Um, if you're shooting on the street, you'll probably need permits, maybe not. Um, and if you're shooting a location, a lot of places ask for insurance. So keep that in mind when you're doing the budget. Um, 
So now I am going to pull up a script. This is called uh, Gajes del Oficio. It's a script uh, that was written by a Puerto Rican screenwriter called Michael Siniano. So we're going to see the first page and we're going to read it. It's in Spanish. Um, I'm going to read it and then we'll go over. Um, we're going to break down the page and we're going to see things we need, things we could possibly need, and things uh, like that. Whenever you can, uh, uh, Raquel, can you put the script? Thank you. Okay. Can you go to the second page, please? Okay, perfect. I'm going to start reading. Black screen. Música jazz aumenta en volumen lentamente. El título. Gajes del oficio. Fades in y luego fades out. Mientras la música desvanece. Interior almacén noche. Un hombre, Gutiérrez, 27, enmascarado con una bala clava, está siendo ahorcado ferozmente por Martínez, 34. Otro hombre enmascarado. Ambos en el piso. Rodríguez, 42, observa desde una distancia cómoda, fuera de la conmoción, sentado en una caja mientras se fuma un cigarrillo. También tiene puesto una bala clava. Desde atrás de la pelea llega corriendo un cuarto hombre enmascarado, Jiménez, 51. Agarra a Martínez y lo ala separándolo de Gutiérrez. No sin antes Gutiérrez recibir un puño en la cara de parte de su atacante. Luego de separarlo, Lleva a Martínez hacia una esquina del almacén, en voz calmada. ¿Tú quieres terminar en prisión comiendo puré de manzana por los próximos 10 años? Se le acerca un poco más, hasta que un día te apuñalen con un cepillo de dientes. Martínez se queda callado. Jiménez lo suelta y le echa una mirada de su prioridad, mientras se acomoda la balaclava. Bájame esas dos cajas, por favor. Jiménez ahora se dirige hacia Gutiérrez. Este está tosiendo un poco y tratando de recuperar el aire. Toma, limpia tu sangre del piso. La roja Gutiérrez un paño viejo y sigue caminando. So, this is, uh, this is the correct uh, uh, script template. Just so you know, so this is something we can talk in another class. Uh, so let's, let's, I'm going to start right off. Um, so in this page, um, um, if you, I'm going to start breaking this down. If you all have ideas, feel free to write them in the chat. So I just want this to become, you know, conversational. So if you, uh, if I miss something, feel free to write it on the chat. So the first thing is this black screen, music, yeah. So now we know we need music. So that's something we would potentially write down because we need music for that intro. The next thing we would write down is uh, the location, which is uh, Almacén. Um, so we need, we need that location. So that's something we would write down. So we need uh, uh, Almacén. I forgot how to say that in English. So we need Almacén. We'd write it down. Uh, a man, Gutierrez, we know that's an actor. So we have one actor there. Uh, he has a balaclava. So that's wardrobe. So we need balac balaclava. So that's something else we need to think of. Uh, he's being choked by Martinez. Martinez is another character. So now we have uh, two characters. Um, he also has a mask. So that's things that would go into wardrobe. Rodriguez, that's another actor. So we have that. Okay. He's smoking. So that's something we would need to also write down because we have to get, that's a prop, that's a fake cigarette. Uh, in films, none of the actors smoke cigarettes because they would die because they have to smoke like 400 cigarettes for a scene. So those are like fake cigarettes. So that's something you could potentially get. Um, let's see what else. So we have a punch and we have a choke. Those are stunts. So that's something, if you have stunts in your film, um, most of the time what they do is if it's a stunt, it's going to take, if you think it's going to take an hour, it's probably going to take